Hi YouTube, welcome back to my Transformers review and this time it will be the KO review of the uh, the oversized pound from Ku Bian Bao. Over here obviously see Ku Bian Bao. This is the super sized and with metal alloy parts hound. Alright. Alloy metal and here's a side view. This box is huge. And here is the original hound. As you can see, how large it is. It has been supersized or oversized until, wow, it's like uh, very much. Figure, remember this is Voyager size, all right? It's all, it's almost uh, ultra. Uh, I, would, I would say ultra class. Hopefully not. Uh, let's see at the. Right here you have cool Bian Bao and you have some uh, art, box art and here's the back of the figure Alright, here's a closer look and this are uh, the, basically the front of the vehicle mode and the chest piece are uh, uh, metal uh, pieces Alright and here's another Another side of the box art with the vehicle mode. And here's a bit of warning. All right, and here's basically um, oh, the Kuben Bao um, hound out of the box. All right, let me get out of the get out of the. Uh, Plastic first. All right, and here is Hound out of the out of his uh, prison. All right, as you can see, he towers uh, much uh, towers a lot. He's the um, basically the improved version of this. All right, and here's a size comparison. See how large he is. And in comparison to the Voyager class how the original one that we got from the um, HR extinction line from Hasbro okay the basic differences it has been upsized to this height and basically it comes uh, obvious color differences this is based on the same mold uh, this is chrome this part has been improved uh, shoulders are the same Alright, and if you look closely, this guy here doesn't have a, uh, he has um, basically some uh, uh, detail on his beard, however he has no, it doesn't depict him actually smoking, however this guy does, see, just take a look at his uh, face sculpt, he says exactly like the movie. All right, here are the some details that you can see over here. All right, I'm, I'm actually going to sell this guy away and keep this guy. All right, and here's the side view of him. Can you have a closer look? The amount of detail, the amount of pain work they put into him. And here's the back. It's a bit back heavy, so be careful when you uh, try. If you try to stand, uh, tr uh, make him try to stand. Here's the top view. You can just see the coloring. It's just very beautiful. Okay. Speaking about uh, his articulation wise, it's uh, the same as the original version. And it comes with weapons, left and right. Comes with a big, big ass gun. Alright. 
It also comes with the much sorted out Doctor Wu kit. Basically, the uh, harness, which should cost you an arm and a ball, uh, an arm to buy it right now. All right. He also comes with the some other parts over here, like the grenades and stuff. So basically, if you haven't got this yet, I'm not too sure why you wouldn't want to get him. It's basically all packaged up nicely, including the third-party parts to on Doctor Wu, and it's actually uh, for about Malaysian about hundred ringgit to hundred and twenty ringgit for him. All right, and you can basically he is basically holding holding two guns, two guns on his left and right hand, two guns holstered to his side of this leg over here. We can have a look, close look at it. This goes the same for the other leg. Right, and this guy can actually, he's the uh, best uh, oversized KO from Ku Ben Bao so far. He also comes with a uh, basically a lot of weapons, here's the instructions. You can see the weapons here all uh, installed properly and he also a, he has a Megatron coming and the upgrade kit for the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, the Voyager class and here's some uh, some at the back of the uh, vehicle mode for the uh, for Hound alright and over here you can see they have Optimus Deform, this is the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime from Age of Extinction. They have the Wolves Deform, which is uh, Bumblebee. They have the Snarl Deform, Band Deform, which is um, Lockdown, and also the Police Deform, which is another version, which is uh, uh, basically a police mode of uh, uh, Bumblebee. Alright, and there you have it. And here is how you put your harness together. Basically, come over here, bring this over, and put this up into place. All right, so you've got the uh, this portion done, the upper portion. And right now, what we need to do is basically come here, put this on the straps. Sorry, it's the other way around. All right, basically, come to this portion right here. Hook this up right here. Like this. And here. And right now you have this fully assembled. Here, another bag here, which comes with these parts. A extra cigarette in case you I uh, you lose it. Grenades and this all right here. Alright, now I'm going to put the harness on him. Just have to uh, call this a big, very big robot. Just pull, pull his arms high this way. Just put this on. It does feel that it's a bit 
quality is a bit uh, compromised however this is a KO it's better than we got uh, at least you don't have to uh, have extra money uh, spend extra money to get this all of this put it on just like this come all the way to the back And here is Pound fully armed with his uh, vest and grenades. Alright, here is one of the weapons two weapons, a knife, two grenades, and if you look at the back, there's some more weapons. Especially at the side of the legs here and here. Okay, let's a closer look at him. Here's a 360. Uh, yep. uh, look at him also. And also, there's a, a weapon here, which also can. Uh, pack in the knife and here is the back is his belt it's held the it's the pieces are held on by the black pieces here and one at the side and one at the other side and here's his gun all right and basically that's how you arm him up to the tooth in robot mode Back and right here, if you turn this down, turn this back, you can actually combine the weapons over here this way. These guns, you can actually pack this in here this way. You combine them. And you can put basically a knife here. And you have a super duper weapon. Super duper gun. Uh, most of his weapons off all right and his articulation for the head it's uh let me zoom in okay get okay. it's basically you can rotate it three uh side to side you cannot turn it at full 360 because it's uh basically uh blocked by the head and if you turn it to the back there's no lead piping at all Okay. Let me adjust my camera a bit. And he does have wrist articulation. And his hands are on a ratchet joint. You can move it to the back and forth. You can swivel it at the upper part of the hand slightly. Alright. You can bend it at the elbow. His wrist you can uh, can't actually rotate it at all because it's molded in and if you turn this piece here it's a bit hollow all right and as for the feet uh, the upper torso is on a on a ratchet joint you can bend it at the knee the joints are very tight and basically the feet you can just uh, move it sideways And right now onto his transformation, move this up, move this up, okay, swivel the feet in, okay. 
raise the hands unhinge the hands here okay After that, fold the hands down and pack the hands. Can come here to the uh, the torso and basically move this aside. Turn this around. Turn this around like this. into place come fold this up and around oh, just be careful this is on the ball joint All right move the head up and around this part here, open the doors fold this down fold this in this inward okay all right now what you need to do rotate the hands around close this part here move this around oh, I almost got this into the proper size okay this down it's a sit as the same as the uh, AOE into extension figure all right line this properly now move the hands in move the hands in pack it properly line the arms properly this goes for the other side Align the hands this way. Pack this part in. And lower this part here. Lower this part here. You need to turn this around, snap this in to place. Alright, let's snap this part into place as well, as well as this. In the KO transformation, it's a bit easy. And finally, this, this part here. So getting this aligned properly, pack this in, and now you have Hound transform in his vehicle mode. Right here you have him in vehicle mode and this is the metal alloy part he's green in color basically 
And here is he has some translucent uh, colors on him. All right. Okay, right now we can start to put the weapons on him. Basically, the first one would be this weapon, which will be holstered here at the sides. Basically, we have these three guns. Move it down, move it in this way. And it shall fit properly. And right now, the weapons can be hosted on the on Hound. All right. And here's a 360 on him. Under carriage view. And this whole part here is uh, metal alloy. There's the back. It rolls quite well. All right. And he is as long as Santino Prime. Uh, in the uh, issue of extinction. Alright, and this is Cool Boss of the Night signing off.